This is a easy beginner sewing project. It is a fabric tissue holder that you can nicely throw in a pocket, in your backpack, in your purse. And at the very end of this video, I am going to show you how you can fold your tissues so that you can actually pull your tissues out so that it goes like this. So you always have another one coming back out. So let's jump on in and make something fun. You will need to cut one piece of fabric at five and a half inches by seven inches and another piece a little bit larger at five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. The larger piece will be the inside of your tissue lining. Then lay one piece on top of the other and line up the short edge and clip along that outer edge. Then line up the opposite short edge, line them up once again and clip them in place. You will then take this to your sewing machine and you will sew a quarter inch seam allowance across both short edges, starting and stopping with a backstitch. Once you have sewn these two short edges together, then take it to your iron and give those seams a nice press so that they sit nice and open. Then you will flip this project right side out and line up those two edges so that they are measured at about the same distance. Press that in place as well. Then take it back to your sewing machine and sew a top stitch alongside both of those seams. You can also do this with some fun stitches if you want to have a little bit of fun with your sewing machine and those extra stitches. I did this one with a heart stitch, which I thought was quite cute as well. Don't forget to start and stop with a back stitch. Then fold your project so that it is in half and give that center crease a quick press. This is just so that you know exactly where the center of your project is. Now you're going to work from the outer fabric in. So my green fabric here is my outer fabric and then I am going to fold the outer edge in towards that center line and then when I fold the other half across, I'm going to line up that seam with the edge so that it's just that little bit over. So essentially your opposite fabric, so for myself, that's the white fabric, is going to overlap in the center. Clip it in place and then you will sew a seam, a quarter inch seam along both edges once again starting and stopping with a back stitch. Now it's at this point, if you have a pair of pinking shears, which is a pair of scissors that gives you that zigzag, then you can just clip along that edge with your pinking shears. This will stop your fabric from fraying. If you do not have a pair of pinking shears, then just take it to your sewing machine and sew a zigzag stitch along both of those edges. That will also stop your fabric from fraying. Then it's time to turn your project right side out and gently push those corners out as well. I like to do this with a chopstick. Just don't push too hard because of course you don't want to pop that seam out. Then give it a final press and you have made a nice little travel tissue holder. Now before I jump on in to show you how you can fold your tissues, I just want to ask if you liked this tutorial to please hit that thumbs up and of course subscribe if you don't want to lose me on YouTube. I do lots of fun beginner sewing tutorials like this and a few extra intermediate level items as well. Alright, let's learn how to fold our tissues. Now you can easily just fold up a bunch of tissue in thirds and then stack them up and stick them in your tissue holder or you can fold them in this special way so that as you pull one tissue out the next one will be prepared for you for the next time you need another Kleenex. So as you can see here, I've got my Kleenex stacked. I've folded it in half and then now I am folding it in thirds. Once they're folded in thirds, then just lay them out so that you know where the top fold is. Grab your first two tissues and open them both up. As you can see here, I've got them both face up. So now I'm flipping them down. Then I'll take one and lay it on top of the other, then fold the left side over 
and then fold the right side over. Then what you'll do is you will open up that flap to the left, grab another tissue, open it up, turn it over, and then you will lay it over that center piece. And you can continue this process as many times as you want until you have the amount of Kleenex you want to fill your tissue holder with. Now, if I'm giving these Kleenex tissue holders as a gift, I will fold them in this way so that they come out nicely. But for myself, I just fold them in thirds, stack them up and put them in my tissue holder, throw them in my purse and away I go. And that's that. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye for now.